Each year, the theme of the award is different, and this year we chose the idea of timelessness and innovation. And I really like that combination of the two. All the winners had all these common threads, like, you know, they were innovative in their designs, but they also had a sense of timelessness and a true commitment to quality and to artisanship, and those were the things that really stood out in the end. We are so lucky to have six incredible judges. They're the best of the best, and it meant a lot to me that they judged these awards because I think that they are such tastemakers and so savvy about the design world. I'm Gil Schaefer, and my firm is GP Schaefer Architect, based in New York City. Our work is really rooted in the uh, American classical vernacular tradition. People come to us because they love old houses like we do. They're either looking to restore an old house or to build a new house that has the feel of, of, of an old house. I have a great uh, team of people that I work with in my, in my office, young architects. Everybody brings unique talents and ideas to the process. I was one of those kids who always knew he wanted to be an architect. I think it's in the blood. And when I came to architecture school, there was tradition, which was really not something you would look at for design. And then there was modernism, and, and that's really what you should do. So I came out of school with that kind of training and went to work for a very contemporary architect and began to feel like there was something missing for me about architecture, that it didn't connect to all the buildings that I loved growing up. So I switched gears pretty quickly and went to work for uh, traditional architects, um, which is where I really got my second architectural education um, and learned about how to detail classical architecture. I designed and built my own house about, uh, about 11 years ago, I guess, and it was um, a way for me to uh, try to express some ideas about architecture that I had and of what it was that I was trying to do as an architect. As a result of building this house, a number of people asked me to work on projects for them and that's kind of how my firm got started. When we start a project, one of the first things we try to, to do is to understand the land, getting a feel for it. I think we try to avoid gimmicks um, or fad, something that's trendy, we try to avoid that so that the work does feel uh, more timeless, we hope. I think natural light is so important in a house. What's happened with the McMansions that get built today is that we all need bigger and bigger houses and they get thicker and thicker and thicker so that you have more and more rooms that are stranded in the middle with no light. And what we've tried to do is to um, go back to the way houses were made you know, 100 years ago or more, where they were thinner so that they could get the light from both sides, and get the ventilation, and get the breeze. I think what we try to do is take that traditional vocabulary, those traditional reference points, and use them to create spaces, homes, um, places that are very much about the way we live today. We still try to incorporate new technologies to, um, to uh, keep up with the times, whether it's through um, ways that you can do mechanical systems that are more green, ways that you can insulate houses that are more energy efficient. And in some cases we reuse reclaimed materials because we want them to, the houses to have that kind of intuitive sense of, of age. I come at this kind of architecture um, through memory in a way, through a memory of the places that I knew growing up and that I loved growing up. The thing I hope our clients feel the most is that they feel at home in these houses that we create for them. And it will become a special place in their own memories.